Frankly, the best practice is intervention in the Asian Middle East um, region is, um, I would say, it's, it's the backbone of this project. Healthy women are more likely to have healthy children, well-nourished children, well-educated children. Healthy women are more likely to save and be productive in their communities. We have gone where nobody wanted to go. We have given services to people that have never received services. We are taking the lead for scaling up family planning, maternal, neonatal, and child health best practices in the Asia Middle East region to contribute to reduction in mortalities and improved health. Dan ini merupakan satu model pelatihan yang sangat baik sekali, memberikan hasil yang cukup mengesankan untuk menurunkan angka kematian ibu dan bayi. We are on the right track to the achievement of MDGs and especially with the MDG 4 regarding neonate and MDG 5. And uh, best practices is one of the our intervention in this uh, um, aim. And I'm looking forward to a fruitful five days that will help all of you introduce and scale up best practices in your respective countries. We started in 2007 with a technical meeting in Bangkok where we invited 13 country teams. We exposed the 13 country teams to uh, state-of-the-art best practices and we assisted them in developing action plans for scaling up in their countries. We awarded grants to local entities and we provided technical assistance to those entities to help them implement best practices. And very important, the use of scientific scale-up methodologies in some countries like the improvement collaborative uh, process. Improvement collaborative, what is it? Uh, we need to uh, establish the Improvement Collaborative. The uh, Improvement Collaborative the, uh, approach uh, depends on several teams from the same country working on one technical intervention and sharing the same approach for data collection and proving that uh, their intervention worked. The core of it is to develop quality improvement teams sekarang saya uh, ya sangat membantu sekali ya saya jadi mengerti tentang bagaimana membuat suatu uh, program kemudian dimulai dari membentuk struktur organisasinya dulu kemudian um, rapat koordinasi kemudian menjalankan program dan akhirnya evaluasi dan monitoring. Sixty percent of the mortality is uh, caused by emergency situation. So that is why why we, we focus on uh, emergency uh, care. The problem adalah bahwa sebagian besar masyarakat berada pada satu sosial ekonomi yang rendah, uh, kesulitan transportasi untuk datang ke sini pengambilan keputusan rujukan yang sering e, terlambat sehingga kita seringkali kebanyakan pasien datang dalam keadaan yang berat. Kami mempunyai bayi yang kelahirannya cukup banyak 500 sampai 600 per bulan dan angka yang kesakitan cukup tinggi. E, waktu itu kami memang belum belum e, sistematis pelayanannya. Semuanya kami e, e, pisahkan hanya banyak bayi yang sakit sama yang sehat saja tanpa diklasifikasi. Tapi sesudah uh, dengan Ponek kami mulai belajar mengklasifikasi menurut uh, derajat penyakit dan menurut keolokan bayinya. 
JNPK approached us with a proposal from the Ministry of Health to uh, improve this situation and reduce maternal and neonatal mortality. The program is a hospital-based program. They are improving the quality of the emergency obstetric care and emergency neonatal care. We choose Tangerang because they have high, very high MMR. It's about 600 per 100,000 live birth. And also Tangerang is have a good enough human resources, equipment, and also support from the local government. We do the training for the providers and standardize them how to use the best practices. Uh, paket ponek untuk disebarkan ke uh, rumah sakit rumah sakit uh, ponek uh, rumah sakit seperti Cilegon atau Serang Serang yang uh, secara horizontal kemudian secara ke bawah ke puskesmas puskesmas ponet yang sudah dibentuk. We can improve our our services here because we can do more training, more improvement of the services more informal of the tools we have here. We also train uh, health center and community midwife in monthly basis. Salah satu saja yang saya ceritakan barusan saya baru saja habis menangani pasien dengan preeklampsia berat yang datang ke sini. Uh, lalu saya lakukan dengan pemberian standar MGSO4 dengan hati hati apa anti hipertensi. Uh, setelah kami dari tim Ponek ini menilai bahwa dia bisa lahir per pagi 6, akhirnya kami lakukan induksi persalinan dan Alhamdulillah pasien dalam keadaan selamat, bayi dan ibu juga selamat. In our demonstration hospital Tangiran, in less than one year, the maternal mortality was cut by 66%, neonatal mortality was cut by 50%, yang kita perbaiki dalam berbagai aspek adalah yang pertama tentu standar pelayanan mediknya. Yang berikutnya adalah pada hal-hal yang terkait maid dengan pencegahan infeksi. Kemudian fasilitas untuk penanganan kasus emergensinya sendiri, equipment-equipment yang berkait dengan penanganan emergensi. Dari segi tenaga, pengetahuan kami tentu bertambah. Uh, baik itu dari dokter anak maupun dari staf uh, perawat sehingga kami bisa merawat uh, bayi lebih baik. Nah, saya dari yang itu klinik mau suruh ke sini katanya lahir nggak boleh ngedan harus dicesar. Bayinya sekarang bagaimana? Belum ngeliat saya belum ya. Dulu uh, kami dengan bukan berapa setelah eh, dulu kami belum mempunyai uh, keahlian di dalam bidang komprehensif jadi hanya sedikit yang kami punya tapi setelah saya dilatih ponek oleh dari JNPK kami sudah me mampu menangani kasus-kasus yang memang datang ke kami dengan berbagai macam problem. هذه النتيجة الوفيات العالية هذه هي ناتجة من نسبة الخصوبة العالية الموجودة في في اليمن. There are many factors affecting the health of women: social, economic, gender, cultural, and geographical and demographic distribution of the population in Yemen. Even the religious background of these women about reproductive health and family planning, because uh, still they have the bad interpretation of the religious uh, rule in the reproductive, especially in reproductive health and family planning. 
we need really the support of religious leaders with us in this. But more especially in the reproductive health issues, as we said, these are of the health issues which are very sensitive among the community as its relation uh, to the religion. علاقتنا بمشروع الخدمات الصحية الأساسية علاقة عمل نحن نقوم بالتوعية وإرشاد الناس ومشروع الخدمات الصحية الأساسية يقدم خدماته فيلتقي التوعية مع تقديم الخدمات في وقت واحد The stars were aligned. We had the Ministry of Health, we had the USAID mission, we had the providers themselves and their hospitals, and we have our own project. All of these were kind of really enthusiastic about the, the best practices. We started the best practices in a Sabine hospital and uh, it was really a model for other hospitals to uh, start with. The rationale that we adopted in introducing the best practices in Yemen was to start with a, a major teaching hospital which is used not only by the people in the capital but by people coming from all over the country and this is a Sabine hospital. حقيقه افضل الممارسات ساعدتنا كثير وفي نفس الوقت ادت لنا معرفه عرفتنا بحاجات كثيره ما كناش نعرفها وفي نفس الوقت هذا الدعم كله يعني زي ما تقولي رجع للام وطفلها الفائده الاكبر للام والطفل لان احنا بدانا الان زي ما تقولي We have eight best practices. Um, some of them relate to emergency obstetric care, including neonatal resuscitation, active management of third stage of labor, and the reduction of infection in the neonatal nursery, as well as in the delivery room. We have others that relate to postpartum family planning, exclusive breastfeeding, kangaroo mother care for low birth uh, infants, vitamin A supplementation, the immunization of uh, neonates, for polio and PCG. السفرة هذه هي مفيدة للطفل تمام لأنه بيدي لها الوقاية من الأمراض Before we had women come into the hospital, deliver in whatever conditions and leave within two hours. هذا لما نشير به يوصل له عن طريق الرضاعة الرضاعة تكون من أول ما يوصل إلى Thanks to the implementation of best practices, we have introduced systematic counseling. تمام؟ كان لنا كحو عندنا قبل من أول بعد شهر من الولادة بعد أربعين يوم. أيه. رح نقول لك حب بعد الولادة مباشرة تاني. فبيخرجين الأمهات والحمد لله أولا توعية من داخل من الولادة من بنات الولادة وبعدين توعية من عندي من هنا. So this is our chance to give them counseling about family planning as well as a method and to also give them a referral advice on where to get additional contraceptives. From a Sabine hospital we took the idea how to spread it to other governorates. We spread it to main hospitals in different uh, uh, governorates. When we trained a Sabine hospital staff, we also uh, started training trainers from other important hospitals and other governors that are likely to introduce also the best practices in the second phase. And all these hospitals have a relationship with health centers and with rural hospitals, uh, which are the next level. Uh, Lahaj Hospital, which is one of the hospitals that um, is featured in the uh, implementation of best practices, uh, is uh, located in a region that has a very dynamic director of health. من الولادات اللي تحصل عندنا هي ولادة غير مرقوفة بمعنى أنا وانتت بريجنسي ناتج لعدم أفيليبيلتي عدم وجود وسيلة من وسائل تنظيم الأسرة التي تحتاجها الأم حتى إيش تستخدمها فهذه المشكلة الأساسية لا الحمد لله في وعي كبير 
مع الازواج خاصه اذا دخل الزوج وعده شوي متعلم الحمد لله بيتقبل الوسيله انما على زي ما تقولي يشتو شويه صبر وشويه اقناع فمع الاقناع ومع الصبر ومع هذا تفهمي تقولي لا اصبح يعني وضعنا الحمد لله الاقتصادي صعب هو بعدين يتقبل الوسيله وفي نفس الوقت يرتاحوا يخرجوا من عندي مقتنعين الحمد لله ما فيش انسان خارج من هنا مش مقتنع In Yemen, the family planning counseling in the postpartum period and the vitamin A provision to women in the postpartum rose from zero to more than 70%. Immediate breastfeeding rose from zero to 85%. Women were not receiving any contraception before leaving the hospital after they deliver. Now, 10% of women leave the hospital with a contraceptive method in hand, which is amazing. And we find really the health facility is more, we can say, women-friendly. The fact that I attended Bangkok with the country team, the fact that ESD was there to help with the follow-up by saying, let's have a plan and let's have an implementation of the ones of the best practices that you select, this was very, very useful for us. For a very small investment, we have been able to touch the lives of millions of people. Only about 32% uh, ter of hospitals doing the best practices. And yes, the engine picker tried to increase that up to the level of 90% without any uh, assistance from uh, donors at ESD. We cannot do it by ourselves. The successes were enormous. However, we still feel that there's more room for supporting those countries before those best practices become sustainable in their own systems. All of this work is focused on the underserved because the best practices are really dedicated to, to serving the needs of the underserved. I hope for the future, because all personnel from the RSU Tangerang is not able to be able to use Ponek yang dilakukan oleh yang diberikan oleh JNPK pada kami, kami saya mengharap untuk kedepannya semua person diri dari RSU Tangerang ini untuk di kamar bersalin sudah semua terlatih eh, diberikan pelatihan ponek oleh JNPK sehingga kami semua sudah siap untuk eh, apapun yang akan kami hadapi nanti ke depan sehingga pelayanan bisa eh, sesuai dengan eh, standar dan seperti yang kita inginkan yaitu uh, membuat ibu dan bayi jadi sehat dan selamat.